I'm Tracy Baxter with today's Record News Watch. With temperatures hitting 90 early this afternoon and the promise of even higher temps later in the day, area utility companies were bracing for the possibility of record-breaking energy demand, prompting Orange and Rockland utilities to declare a summer heat alert and a plea to cut down on electricity usage during peak hours. Yet another day of hot, humid weather sent Samantha Samuels, her son, niece, and grandson to Rita's in Middletown uh, for a noontime treat. We came out to get some ice cream and ices. That gonna help? Oh yes, it sure is. <laughs> we may get a hot weather break when the predicted thunderstorms push through the region tomorrow. Full details in the upcoming forecast. Back on January 20th, he walked into the TD North Bank branch in the city of Newburgh and threatened a teller with what appeared to be a handgun. He ran out with a bag containing $2,500 as well as a GPS tracking device that uh, helped police arrest 48-year-old David Murden of a Newburgh after he'd uh, crashed his getaway car. In Orange County Court today, Murden was sentenced to 12 years in prison for his guilty plea to a second-degree robbery charge. Murden had uh, prior felony arrests on his record. The weapon used in the heist turned out to be a BB gun. Saying the closings will adversely impact the quality of life in the city of Kingston, Mayor Shane Gallo called on city residents to join him in speaking out against the proposed closings of the Sophie Finn Elementary School as well as Kingston City Hospital. Gallo voiced the appeal during a city hall news conference. He said the city faces a tsunami with the proposed closings that he said uh, would create a hole in Midtown Kingston and result in the loss of hundreds of jobs while dealing a major blow to the city's economy. Essentially, we have the beginning of a tsunami uh, where we literally could have a hole in our community uh, from the closing of Sophie Finn and the uh, closing of the Kingston Hospital campus, which is right next door that I see every day from my office. Mayor Gallo also requested a, quote, partnership with school officials and the Health Care Alliance uh, so that the city's concerns regarding both closings can be addressed and other options considered. Police in Monticello say an arrest has been made following a shots fired incident last night on Summit Avenue. One person suffered a superficial wound that uh, did not require hospital treatment with other gunshots hitting the residents at uh, 31 Summit Avenue. Police had uh, not uh, released the name of the person in custody. More arrests were expected to be made. In Midtown Kingston, 10 people were injured by pellets fired from a shotgun during a disturbance in the area of 18 O'Neill Street at around 4 this morning. The 10 people hit were taken to the Kingston Hospital Emergency Room for treatment of what uh, were described as non-life-threatening injuries. Keep checking back here at Record Online for updated information on both shooting incidents. There was no violence, but enough shouting and verbal accusations to cut short last night's Newburgh City Council meeting. Family members and supporters of Michael Lebhart packed the City Hall Council chambers demanding that the two police officers cleared of wrongdoing in Lebhart's fatal shooting not be allowed back on street duty. Mayor Judy Kennedy came under verbal fire with those in the audience, accusing her of trying to silence her critics. The family claims the grand jury investigation was flawed and that a civil lawsuit will be filed. Police Chief Michael Ferrara says he will look into complaints from those at the meeting who say officers have been taunting them since the release of the grand jury report. The Special Legislative Committee looking into the management and finances at the Valley View Center for Nursing Care were at it again today interviewing witnesses under oath as part of their investigation into uh, whether uh, the county should move forward with plans to privatize the facility. The committee will hold a special meeting Thursday to decide whether to pursue legal action as a way to force County Executive Ed Diana to provide sworn testimony. Diana, as well as members of the company hired by the county to run Valley View, have boycotted the hearings despite receiving subpoenas calling them to appear. 13 of the legislature's 21 members signed a petition to hold the meeting and consider taking the issue to court. IEDs, improvised explosive devices. They are the weapons of choice of our enemies and the number one killer of our soldiers in Afghanistan and Iraq. This summer, West Point cadets are learning how to detect and defeat IEDs through the use of a simulator called the Mobile Counter IED Trainer. We were the ones that actually developed the training aid for the uh, services and it's to basically provide 
a uh, think like the enemy uh, scenario in teaching uh, on IEDs, just give them a IED awareness. Inside four trailers at West Point's Camp Buckner, cadets get lessons on the basics of IEDs as well as precautionary steps that can be taken to avoid the devices. Trainers say the exercise simulates virtual situations that soldiers confront. Cadets are judged on their actions in attempting to spot and defeat the explosive devices and hopefully learn from their mistakes. Saying their actions show a serious disregard for the right to free expression, the New York Civil Liberties Union is requesting that New Paltz Village officials drop the trespassing charges that they filed against four Occupy New Paltz protesters who continue to camp out at the village's Hasbrook Park. In its statement, the Civil Liberties Union uh, said the charges should be dropped because the village board and Mayor Jason West imposed a series of conflicting, unwritten, and unconstitutional requirements on them. The four were arrested February 10th after the earlier permission they were given to use the park was revoked and that they then refused to leave. And Governor Andrew Cuomo is apparently continuing to ride a wave of popularity. The Siena College poll out today shows the governor with a 69% favorability rating and a 58% job approval rating. By comparison, 52% of those polled in the telephone survey believe the nation's headed in the wrong direction. New Yorkers give Congress a 67% disapproval rating. <laughs> There are thunderstorms in the local forecast and they could cool things off a bit. Wednesday will be cloudy with storms expected to arrive by late afternoon and evening. The highs will be in the low 90s. Thursday will be partly cloudy with more thunderstorm activity predicted. Temperatures will top out in the upper 80s. Get the latest news and weather updates here at Record Online and read all the information you'll need to start your day in tomorrow's Times Herald Record. For Record News Watch, I'm Tracy Baxter.